Today, we're in the herd with football. The Bison concluded their 15th practice of the preseason on Saturday, and as the squad prepares for its second scrimmage of fall camp coming up on Sunday, Coach Joe Susan says he's pleased with how things have gone, although his squad has had to deal with some injuries. It gives us a chance to create some depth, and at this level, if you have some depth, you've got a chance because somewhere along the way, you want to make a substitution. Somewhere along the way, somebody's going to get bumped and the next guy that goes in has to be ready to play. He says that last year's NCAA rule limiting preseason practices to one a day from two a days has proven to be a good move. The thing that it's done for us, it's enabled us to be a lot better as teachers. Uh, they, they understand how important it is to be students of the game. Senior nose tackle Tracy Smith agrees with Coach Susan, saying that one practice a day in fall camp certainly beats two. It's great. It kind of keeps our legs fresh so we can, you know, have a good practice when we do choose to practice. It's still kind of like two days. We still get the same amount of reps, but they're pretty smart in the way they save our legs and keep us fresh, uh, you know, for when we do put the pads on and strap it up. Smith is a preseason All-Patriot League performer on the field, but as a geology major, he also put his academics to good use this summer. I was out in a place called McCarthy, Alaska. I was using ground penetrating radar to look at like some of the subsurface features of icy debris fans. Uh, just a pretty cool alpine region, out camping all day, hiking all day. It was a pretty good workout. And I learned a lot too, got a lot of cool data. Sunday evening scrimmage at Christy Matthewson Memorial Stadium is open to the public.